What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Showtime. So you've got a nice video there that you can watch if you want. Again, this is a bit of a mixed bag for me. Obviously, when you look at this pack and you're thinking, yeah, 99 Mbappe, 97 Marquinhos and 94 Cabea. These are fantastic players, especially I would say Cabela as well. Um, you say Cabela, I say Cabala. Uh, Cabela is a fantastic player because he's got 50 levels to go and his stats are all in the 70s, which we'll get into in a bit, right? But he's got standard form. He's got double touch, but he doesn't have one touch pass. You can always add that to him and he is down as a creative midfielder. Marquinhos is the only one of this pack that has got a special skill unlocked. So he has got Fortress. You can see there third from bottom. He's got unwavering form. Marquinhos, a standard card, is one of the best centre-backs in the game with the way the gameplay currently is at the moment. I think he's an absolute machine. Um, him and Rudiger, and I would say De Ligt as well, are fantastic options at the back. There's a lot of good centre-backs, but he does have Fortress, which is the only big-time, showtime uh, player skill with this pack. And then also, Mbappe, insane stats, goes over 90 in pretty much every main stat that you could want. We'll get into that in a second. Unwavering form. And of course, he does have the double touch, but doesn't have one touch pass. If you're used to playing with a really kind of nimble mobile version of uh, Mbappe or Romario or Romanegi or Michael Owen or any of those kind of zippy, nippy, kind of dribble centric center forwards that just run and gun with little triangles, touch and goes, one touch passing all the way up the pitch um, or into the box and then bang with the, with the pace and the speed. Mbappe is a beast, but he does not have phenomenal finishing, which is a strange choice with the showtime, right? So we are going to actually focus on Kabea first, and this guy is a 94 rated uh, AMF when you max him out, right? So we're going to just take a quick look at him over here on eFootball DB. He has got everything that you could possibly want. Now you can train him up mul multiple different ways. This is the 94 rated version of him, or one of the maxed out 94 rated versions of him. But as I always say, let's don't be too obsessed um, with the actual uh, leveling of this player, right? Um, because, or with the overalls of the players, right? It doesn't really make a massive difference. Now, he did have a right midfielder player of the week version of him that was still down as a creative playmaker, but he had slightly different skills, player skills, as you see there. Um, I think this version is probably better. If you are going to be turning him into kind of like an out wide player, I would definitely tone down the passing. You don't need the passing. Depending on how you train him up, we will do a specific training guide for all of these players. But I definitely would feel that you don't need to use um, these players, you know, to the, to the level that you would be using. Or What am I trying to say, lads? You don't need to train up the player this overall, like max him out overall. Like, as I said, I will do a specific training guide, but realistically speaking right if you're using him as an out wide option you don't need to pass an above 80 and you don't need lofted pass above 76 unless you're going to be crossing the ball in you definitely don't need shooting this high unless you cut in and shoot a lot so 75 is more than enough and that probably frees up a lot of other stats that you can boost up which gets you to 91 balance your 90 acceleration and your 90 tight possession even though he's only 93 overall that's a better card if you're looking for a winger if you're not looking for a winger if you're looking for an amf you can pretty much cap that at 88 there. The acceleration isn't a massive thing. And then you can pop the dribbling up to 88 low pass as well. So that gives you the other card version of him there. You don't need as much stamina with this version of the card. So you can pop up the shooting to get it to 80 when you do get the form arrow. So I will do a specific training guide on him and talk you through a little bit of that and give you an alternative as well. We've got a similar situation with Marquinhos, right? So Marquinhos, I think at the end of the day, is no matter what way you train him, he's going to be one of the best center backs in the game, right? His standard card is absolutely insane. Um, and the Brazil pack edition is actually better across the board with, with, with less levels. So this version of Marquinhos, the big showtime, has got Fortress, which is insane. Um, and he's got 22 levels to go, right? Which means that you can get jump, header, and all his defensive stats above 90 with 80, 81 for physical contact. This is the 97 rated version of him. As I said, he's pretty easy to train up. Um, with the way that the heading is in, in the game at the moment, I would probably reduce this. I would probably not even bother train up his heading that much or his jump. Once you're at 88 there, I think that's more than enough and it frees up a little bit more if you wanted to pop that into 78 for the acceleration. I think that's just a better card overall. 
or else if you want to just stay away from dexterity completely which you don't really need on this card you can pop another two in and then have two more onto dexterity to bring it up to 73 with the balance at 73 as well but you're getting your tackling at 97 your aggression at 94 engagement and awareness at 96 and 95 so i do think that that's a really good card as well we will do a training guide on him and then last but not least we do have mbappe right so Mbappe, this is the 99 rated version of Mbappe. With the game playstyle boost, you will get this boost up to 102 overall. People are obsessed with the overalls on the cards, man, but they mean nothing. They're a visual representation of what the player is with his range of skills and his variety of skills and stats in that position, right? It doesn't really make a difference. It's like looking down here, right? Mbappe can't play as an SS or an AMF but his stats make him a 94 AMF, even though he can't play there. It's just that the card overall has a different um, has a different sign on it there, right? But this version of Mbappe, if you just auto-allocate or you train him up as best as you possibly can while keeping his dribbling, awareness, finishing, and acceleration all above 90, you're going to have an absolute beast of a card. I mean, if you can't score with a 98-rated acceleration player with 90 finishing and 91 dribbling then I definitely think you need to look at your build-up, your tactics, your manager, your style of play, um, because he's literally a goal a game. I mean, he's a point-and-shoot centre-forward. He doesn't even need to have phenomenal finishing because everything that he does is going to be super easy. I struggle to play with Mbappe. I think it's because most of his cards lack that little bit of balance compared to other players and that offensive awareness. But this card is pretty much going to be up in the 85, 86, 87, 88 zone with the boost, with the player form arrow. You can get that to 90 very easily if you take a little bit off other stuff, right? So you could take a little bit off aerial strength. That will bring the card down, but it frees up one more slot that will make all the difference when you pop it into balance there. You're going to have 99 acceleration. Again, don't focus too much on that. It's the balance that when you get the player form arrow, you are going to have that in the 90 zone, speed in the 90 zone. You're going to have acceleration maxed out, finishing, dribbling, and offensive awareness all over 90. So I would say pound for pound, um, I would say this is the best best card statistically wise. This is the best card that they've ever released because balance is a massive stat in the game for attacking based options and players. Dribbling is huge. He also has really good tight possession. The one thing that lets him down is physical contact. That's the one thing that I think people will struggle with if they're used to playing with bulkier center forwards, but you shouldn't be using Mbappe that way. Um, we've had various multiple different versions of Mbappe. His standard rating is quite good. This gold poacher edition of Mbappe, I quite like as well. Um, all his versions are um, gold poacher, except the, these two here. You can see this one is a whole player, the left midfielder. He can still play through the middle. But all of these will have 90 acceleration, 90 dribbling, 93 speed, whatever. So I do think he is a bit of a monster. But yeah, look, it, it does depend. It does depend on what type of player, what type of system that you have. It would have been nice for Mbappe to have that phenomenal finishing. And Kabea maybe even to have two uh, Showtime additional skills. But look, maybe they're just testing things out. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip, lads. Um, I would probably give this a miss because I already have Marquinhos in my squad, a very good version of him. But yeah, until next time, lads, I'll be talking to you soon. And uh, we'll see you then. Peace.